Hi there. Um, uh, today I just want to talk about the retinoic acid pathway. And why would I want to talk about this? Well, it's extremely important in the development of humans, actually, as well as many other organisms. Um, so yeah, what happens in this retinoic acid pathway? Well, um, we usually think of it uh, when we're talking about the fetus um, in the mother. Uh, what happens is mother has the fetus and mother can take in uh, vitamin A, which is a important part of this pathway. Retinol, as you can see over here, is actually derived from, or uh, retinol is a derivative of vitamin A. Um, so vitamin A is required for this pathway. And the mother can take that in with uh, carrots, uh, liver, stuff like that. So once vitamin A is in the mother, um, it will, some of it will turn into retinol. Um, and retinol is highly teratogenic. It can pass through the placenta very easily. And that's because it's very hydrophobic and small. So it passes through the placenta, and it'll get closer, closer to the fetus. Um, it will then get to the fetus, and this here is a cell in the fetus, okay? Um, retinol will show up, goes into the cell. Um, pretty easy for it to do as well, because it is hydrophobic and small. Uh, easily passes through the phospholipid bilayer. Over here, we see that retinol is getting converted into retinoic acid. I don't really care if you guys know this stuff too much over here. It's not as important. What ends up happening anyways, uh, to sum it up, this area here, is retinol gets converted to retinol, gets converted to retinaldehyde and retinoic acid. Okay. So once we get to retinoic acid here, crab BP will then find it and bind to it, and this is in the cytoplasm. Once crab BP binds retino uh, retinoic acid, it will then bring it into the cytoplasm, and or sorry, into the nucleus here. And once RA is into the nucleus, then it can do its job. So crab BP is very important. Um, when retinoic acid is in the cytoplasm, it doesn't do anything. So retinoic acid is now into the nucleus, okay, of the cell, in a placental uh, individual and we'll say human in this case. <clears throat> what happens in the nucleus here is retinoic acid can be in its cis or trans form. If it's in its um, cis form, it will bind RXR, and if it's in its trans form, it'll bind RAR. Now, what are these things? Well, this here is a heterodimer on the RARE uh, complex here. And so that's just a retinoic acid response element. That's what this is here. And it's an area on the DNA where these, where this heterodimer binds, where retinoic acid can then turn on this pathway, which starts transcription. Transcription of this pathway uh, works on the Hox1, Hox2, and Hox14 genes, um, which is also called the homeobox, uh, the Hox, Hox gene area. Um, you guys might be aware of that. It's pretty common, commonly known, commonly studied. Um, and it is important for segmentation of the embryo body plan. So we can see now that retinoic acid is absolutely essential for making sure that the body plan for a placental individual is going properly. And what we'll see is that if retinoic acid levels are too high, we can get abnormal development, and if retinoic acid levels are too low, we can get abnormal development. So, as we can see, uh, vitamin A is definitely some precursor in this pathway that's very important in regulating RA levels. If you don't have enough of it, we can have issues. Um, if we have too much of it, not too many issues, usually the body's pretty good at regulating that. Uh, but there are other things that contribute to this pathway other than vitamin A. 
I'm going to move on to that right now. So the major thing here that contributes to this pathway is CYP26A1. So in this uh, figure here, you can see CYP26A1 is what we're looking for. It stains blue. Okay. Um, and then in this case, we have wild type and wild type plus retinoic acid. In the wild type situation, we can see that this, uh, this individual here, so the zebrafish, uh, that there's no CYP26A1 present. There's also no RA present, which is retinoic acid, because we did not add it uh, in the test here. In this situation here, we can see wild type plus retinoic acid. So there's retinoic acid present. We're standing for CYP26A1, and we can see that blue shows up. So CYP26A1 is present. And what we can co conclude from this is that in the presence of retinoic acid, CYP26A1 is also present. So now, what does CYP26A1 do? Well, we can see in the figure at the bottom here, in a situation uh, where there is CYP26A1, we have normal development. We also have retinoic acid present as well. In the situation where we knock out CYP26A1, we see abnormal development. So what is what exactly is happening? Well, CYP26A1 is stimulated and activated by retinoic acid. Okay, so we figured that out in this figure here. In this figure here, we realize that CYP26A1 is actually responsible for degrading retinoic acid. And so what has happened in this case is there's no CYP26A1 to degrade the retinoic acid. There's too much retinoic acid, and in that case, we have abnormal development. Like I said before, if we have too much retinoic acid, abnormal development. If you have too little, then you also get abnormal development. And what CYP26A1 is really doing um, is it's hydroxylating retinoic acid, and that is making it more hydrophilic, and that gets rid of its more hydrophobic properties. Hydrophobic properties are usually um, are the properties that are making uh, retinoic acid a little bit more teratogenic. When we get rid of those properties, it's easier for the cell to uh, maintain it. It can't cross the placenta and stuff like that anymore. It's not as much of a threat. So by hydroxylating um, retinoic acid, it's then uh, detoxified and can get and can be uh, degraded by the cells. So next thing here is I just want to put it all together. Um, so in this study here, we just have a control. Uh, this is a mouse. If we have an RA insult, so there's not much RA around for this um, placenta or the uh, embryo here, or the um, yeah the fetus. Um, yeah, there's not much RA around. So I said before, if there's not much RA around, abnormal development. In this situation, uh, researchers added RA, and what has occurred is been able to uh, get back the normal development in the stage where RA is being used to uh, segment the body plan of the individual here. And so RA levels are back up. CYP26 begins working again, but we have a normal level of RA in the system here, and so we can get normal development yet again. And so I hope you guys learned something from this today, um, and good luck with your studies and uh, further quest for knowledge. Thanks, guys. Bye.